Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. Thanks for stopping by. I wanted to show you a real simple card to make. Um, I made this using the Share What You Love part of that suite. Um, if you're not familiar, it's an early release. So our new catalog comes out in June and the month of May, you can purchase these items that are in the new catalog um, in different bundles. There's three different bundles. So take a look at my blog, PSPaperCrafts.com and look at the April 30th and it has all the pictures and all kinds of information about what um, what you can buy. But this is the stamp set for Share What You Love or Share What You Love is the sweet and then this is Love What You Do. And I really love the sentiments and the uh, the flowers and then the watercolor wash back here. So that's what I used here. And then the paper, um, I only cut a little piece piece out but I have to tell you the paper is just gorgeous. It's called the Share What You Love Special D specialty designer series paper so we call it DSP and this is it and I don't know if you can see on a lot of the sheets the flowers are pearlized this is Stampin' Up's 30th year um, in business and there's a lot of pearl things going on because I guess that's the 30 year thing so you'll see a lot of pearl pearl kinds of things so you get 24 sheets of this and it's just it's all floral it's just gorgeous. Um, here's another sheet that has the pearlized look. I'm hoping you can see this. This is another one that's pearlized. Um, and here's another one that's pearlized. So it's just gorgeous. I'm hoping this is a good view. This is the other side. So um, this side doesn't have anything pearlized, but it's, it's really pretty. I think I love this. I think we'll be using this a lot. Um, so what I did was I cut out some flowers from this. Can you believe I cut this DSP? But um, you get a lot of it, so why not? So I just kind of cut around and cut some of the flowers to get these. So that is the DSP. This was a real simple card to make. Um, I have everything cut out. I did fussy cut these flowers already, so you don't have to watch me cut them, but they're very easy to cut out. Um, so let me start out with the stamping. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp this background. And this paper is Tranquil Tide and Mint Macaron. So Mint Macaron is coming back. That was a, a color that everybody loved in the past, and it made its way back into the colors. So June 1st, you can start purchasing that again. So all I did was uh, create kind of a background. And it's very easy to do. You just kind of randomly um, stamp your stamp. I didn't put too much in the middle because I knew I would be covering, but I did kind of put stuff um, and kind of turn it and twist it and go off the sheet and on the sheet, uh, just random. So I'm just going to kind of put them here and there and then we'll see how it looks when I put the, uh, the layer on it. Sometimes you kind of go crazy with this. I think that looks good. So when I put this layer on, I'll be covering up that middle. So I think that looks pretty good. I probably should have put one in there, but let's see how it would look. I think it'll be too crowded. I'm just going to leave it. Unless I turned it this way. There's always the other way. Now I'm just going to leave it. I'm good with it. Not a problem. Random is random, right? And actually I should have left this out. So I'm going to do this whitewash or water wash, whatever you'd call it, uh, watercolor wash. And I'm using this big stamp in here. And I actually stamped off because I really wanted it um, light. So what I did was I inked up the stamp in the mint macaron and I stamped on my scratch piece of paper. And then I stamped down on my, this is a three by three square. And I didn't want it to be too dark, so that's why I stamped off first. Okay, and then I think, well, let me show you the inside while we have the mint macaron out. I did these flowers on the inside. I didn't stamp a sentiment because I'm not really sure what I want to put in there. I usually, for thank you notes, I write my own little, um, you know, little note in there versus uh, a stamped one. So I'm just going to kind of go around at the bottom and then the same thing at the top. And you could put a sentiment. You could even do that white uh, watercolor wash as well. 
think I'm going to just leave it like that and then put your sentiment over it if you had something um, that you wanted. So then we're going to use the thank you and I'm going to do this in Tranquil Tide. And I kind of think, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so that's where I got that from. And uh, let's see. So I just basically, I'm just going to stamp it on paper first, make sure it looks good. So I just started at the top and just eyeballed it. There's nothing magic here. And it went right down. Pretty easy, right? So that's all we need with the Tranquil Tide. And then I will put this together. Let me get my snail. I'm going to put the inside in first. Get that done. See how quick this is? Quick and easy. The way I like it. Okay. And I think it's pretty. Um, this paper is gorgeous. I mean, I can see just making a card with a, a simple sentiment and the paper in the background and, and you've got a card. I'm going to put this down on, so this is three by three, and then this is three and an eighth by three and an eighth. I just wanted a very small border, so I, I didn't go up um, just an eighth of an inch. I didn't go up any further than that. So we'll put this down centered. Okay. And then I popped, well, let me put this down first, and then I popped up the 3x3 uh, the three three with um, dimensionals just to give it a little dimension. Dimensionals to give it dimension, right? And just center this. That looks about right. And then, again, I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. Got to love the dimensionals, right? So I put one in each corner, and then I like to put one in the middle um, so that it doesn't kind of sag in the middle. So I just take the release paper off of that. Excuse my fingers, I, I stuck my fingernail on my thumb in um, a dark ink by accident, and it's just, I don't know, kind of ugly. Sorry about that. I should probably bleach it or something like that. So I'm going to just put this like that. I mean, that's just pretty on its own. And then I took the flowers and I put this down with snail. I'm sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Stop shaking. <laughs> sorry if I'm making you dizzy there. And I just put this down right here. And then this one, I, um, let's see, I put one up, I think I put a dimensional on the back of this one, right in the center. And kind of put this down on the card. Let's see, I think I want this one hidden. And put it down so it would be equal in height with that one and then this one i put a dimensional on a leaf and i put some snail up the top kind of like a, a little bit of each and i actually took a a little dimensional like a the end so let me just cut into this so you could do a half dimensional or a mini dimensional and i'm just going to put that on one of the leaves below just to secure it at the height that I want. So that's where that is, and then this sticks up here. So there you go. Oh, and let me uh, not forget these pearl little, um, what are they called? They're uh, Share What You Love Artisan Pearls, and they're really beautiful. So I put three of them in there. So let me just do that. Um, I'm thinking this is the right color. Not really the same color as the flowers, but it goes with the mint macaron and the tranquil tide. So I thought these were really pretty. And just gives it a little bit of bling. So there you go. Thought it came out really well. It's um, very simple to do. So I hope you um, like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you're interested in any of the share what you love, just check out my blog post um, April 30th. PSPaperCrafts.com 
And you can comment if you have any questions or email me, patty at pspapercrafts.com, um, or you can place an order right at my blog. There's an online store, and you can click on any of these products. Okay? You have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.